So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Ram 1500 TRX, and I'm gonna go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your door locks, you've got your window switches, you've got your rear mirror just toggle right here. Right here, you've got your door latch. Next to that, you've got some buttons that can adjust the, and save the driver seating position. You've got a nice Harman Kardon speaker right here, which is sprinkled throughout the cabin. You got your lighting switch. You got the dim level for the lighting as well as the gauge cluster right here. You've got a parking brake latch right here, but the vehicle will automatically uh, sense and, and put the parking brake on at angles. Right here, you've got two buttons, which will um, adjust the pedal box at the bottom. So we'll bring it to you or push it farther away. Right now, I have it farthest away. And you've got the gauge cluster. So on the left and right, you've got analog gauges, but the center is a full digital display. Now there are quite a lot of pages available. So 12 of them to be exact. So starting at number one, you've got speedometer, two vehicle info, and some of those pages, like starting with vehicle info, you can see there's many tabs on that page. So vehicle info is basically the gauge screen if you want to choose a specific gauge as well as you can display these gauges on the navigation display which I will showcase when I get to that but if there's a specific a data point that you want to just display at all times in front and center of your eyes this is where you can do it but it's like going through them all for you right now and the last one is you can kind of see multiple uh, data points together Going number three, you got off-road, so there's three different options. Um, starting to the left, you got drivetrain, the angle, pitch and roll, the wheel articulation. You got performance, so this is uh, where you can have a zero to 60, zero to 100 uh, timers, more drag times, braking distance, the current G-forces of the vehicle. I'm gonna stand still, so all 0.00. .00 peak g-forces as you can see the peak uh, at the back probably from somebody doing launch control in this vehicle lap timer lap history and the top speed that has been achieved in this vehicle which is 118 miles per hour and that was not by me driver assistance fuel economy so you got two different pages there trip info trip a trip b trailer tow trailer brake trailer trip, trailer light check, and the tire pressure system, if you can configure that for your trailer as well. Audio, currently listening uh, through Android Auto. Messages, uh, this vehicle needs oil change, but is a press loaner, so I will let the loaner fleet uh, be aware of that, but they'll see it when, you turn, when they turn on the vehicle for the first time after they get the keys from me. Settings, you can adjust the heads up uh, display diagnostic you can view diagnostic codes it's pretty cool and back to speedometer so you can see there is many pages and a lot of them can adjust um, different tabs on those pages along the four points around that screen you can see top left you've got a compass down left you've got a battery level oil temp and then the temperature outside the vehicle Moving back to the steering wheel, how I was adjusting everything on that digital display is over here on the left. So up and down goes between different pages. And if we go to a page that has different tabs like vehicle info, left and right, we'll adjust through there. You've got talk buttons next to that. Over on the right, you've got your cruise control settings um, all sprinkled on the right side of the steering wheel. Behind the steering wheel, you have uh, two paddles. So they're kind of split to be kind of like a spider-man symbol so it's like a paddle piece up top there's nothing in the middle and there's another piece at the bottom so it kind of goes like that but on the left you've got down gears on the right up gears should you wish to shift on your own the steering wheel has alcantara at the top and the bottom there's carbon fiber right here as well and that carbon fiber is kind of sprinkled throughout the cabin on the doors behind the on the dashboard as well so this is where this engine start stop button is on the dashboard kind of down and to the right of that you've got a bunch of performance uh, buttons for the trx so you have the trx button pushing that will pop you 
in the performance dashboard giving you the different drive modes of the vehicle. So this vehicle features eight different drive modes. Um, so you got sport, tow, snow, auto, custom, mud, sand, rock, and Baja. And when you click on them, it will display what adjusts and what characteristics of the vehicle are changed with these different drive modes, as well as kind of display them on this drivetrain down low. So sport, everything set to sport, paddle shifters on, tow, you can see the transmission goes to tow mode, paddle shifters on, stability control full, suspension, sport, steering and street, snow, transmission is in snow, stability control is full, suspension and steering are in street, auto, everything is just in street. Custom, you can customize uh, what you want here. So you can hit custom setup and change this to be whatever you want, kind of a combination of all the other drive modes. Mud and sand, you have sport, and stability control is on sport as well. Suspension, Baja, steering, and rock. You have to enter uh, four wheel drive low to enable the rock mode. Baja, transmission is Baja as well as stability control and suspension and steering is a sport. Now Baja might sound cool, but what it does for the transmission is I felt it kind of hold it uh, in the higher gear or in the higher RPM limit as long as possible. So it's probably not best for driving through your neighborhood because it might sound like you don't know how to drive a truck, but uh, sounds cool nonetheless. Going back to the uh, performance buttons down here, you could also quickly switch between the different drive modes, hitting the arrow here left and right and that will display on the gauge cluster. So I'm hitting right right now. You can see it going sport, tow, snow, auto, custom, mud and sand, rock, Baja, and back to sport. So as you can see, each uh, drive mode also has a cool uh, display up on the center console. I mean, gauge cluster. So you have a hill assist button right here, trash control off below that. You have your four wheel drive buttons right here as well as an axle lock button. And right here you have a launch control button as well. So pushing this will get you quickly in the launch control mode of the vehicle, but you can also do so from the navigation screen going to um, vehicle, performance dashboard, race options, and you can hit activate launch control. So these buttons do basically the same thing. But, but now that I am on the navigation display, might as well um, stay here and show you all the different pages. So home can be customized, uh, different widgets, media, obviously what you're listening to currently in advertisement. Comfort, this is where you can adjust different um, climate controls of the vehicle, heated ventilated seats, steering wheel heated as well, different levels of the fan, things like that. Navigation, Android Auto, what I'm currently listening to. In vehicle, this is where you get all the cool stuff of the TRX. So you got performance pages on under the dashboard, timers this is where i set all the different gauges that you kind of see them all at the same time instead of just picking one the uh, engine dyno so currently um, sitting uh, i must have touched it currently sitting um so it's not really doing anything zero horsepower g-forces of the vehicle the pitch and roll screen again vehicle dynamics steering angle showcasing transfer case and the rear axle locker if it's locked or unlocked drive modes this is where you could click in as well and the race options um, screen so you got that launch control you got shift light you can adjust and there's also a cool race cooldown mode which will showcase what uh, needs to be done to cool down the vehicle so you can enable the race cooldown which is kind of a cool uh, option and you got all these different apps that can be downloaded and enabled in the vehicle as well there you go you can set favorites, recent, categories as well. You can adjust anything you like. Back on the vehicle though, you can also adjust the different camera views or uh, select the different camera views of the vehicle. So if I just wanna see what's out my left mirror, you can see the, the grill of the vehicle right there. different controls, mirror, dimmer, vehicle cameras, and this is where you can adjust all the settings of the vehicle. Display, profile, safety, driving assistance, clock and date, uh, phone, voice, navigation, seats, anything, you name it, you can adjust it. 
around this screen, you can see you got some actual physical buttons. So you've got the temperature control, fan controls as well, hazards at the top, lane um, assistance to the left of that. Some more HVAC controls on the right. You got the volume knob and tuner knob, as well as the power button for the display. And you can screen off as well, mute button. Below the navigation display, you've got a couple trailer settings to the left, and then you have, I'm gonna start far right, you've got the parking um, sensors for the front and the rear below that. You can turn them off if you're in an off-road setting situation. You don't want it dinging at you 24 seven, but you can also wire some auxiliary uh, lights, anything that would need a button. So you got four options for that. You've got cubby hole space, you've got USB-C and USB plugs for um, driver and passenger, I guess you could say, but they're so close to each other. It's just a whole bunch of them. Auxiliary port as well. You got a charging pad down here. Um, it says Ram charger right here. A bunch of cubby hole space. You got a nice carbon fiber door that's hiding two cup holders currently holding my gimbal. I just keep it closed or open. Maybe I must throw my phone in there and this is pretty much a good spot for your phone as well. Then you have the gear levers. So you got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And then once you're in drive, you can hit it over and select your own gears here or on the back of the steering wheel with those paddle shifters that I showed. You got a little spot right here, probably for your key. And then you've got your armrest, which features cool TRX branding. It says designed by FCA, Fiat Chrysler America, Auburn Hills, Michigan. It showcases the V8 motor, supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi. Um, horsepower 702, the VIN number, the boost uh, 11 PSI, and the supercharger is 2380cc uh, twin scroll. Supercharger. Features RAM at the bottom, and this is in Alcantara, just like the top and bottom of the steering wheel. Now it opens up into two different levels, so the first level reveals um, nice carpet-like material, a USB plug in the back. And then the second level features a whole bunch of measurement data, some uh, trigonometry if you need it, a bunch of measurements below that as well. And then you've got some coin slots as well as a very deep um, center console. And then you got a plug right here should you need it. Oh, dropped it real hard. Uh, before I get to the passenger side up top, the screen you have another plug and the cubby hole spot as well you got another look at that Harman Kardon uh, audio system sprinkled throughout the vehicle then you've got a nice um, carbon fiber TRX branded spot right here but that is not the glove box because that is down low that Harman Kardon speaker top and bottom look at the passenger door TRX branding on the seats currently housing my son's car seat in the back but give you a good look at the other seat in the back this does not feature a uh, sunroof but the rear window obviously can be open with the controls up top you have sos button lighting buttons as well but that is pretty much the interior of the 2022 ram 1500 trx if there is a feature i didn't go in depth enough on be sure to leave some questions in the comments below and I'd love to find you an answer. Thanks for watching.